Let's see what else we can dig up from the old unfinished pile. Banjo-Kazooie, Grunty's Revenge. You like this game, Rosetti. Just, uh, like the other moles that are in it. Let's go ahead and return to that again. Okay, let's go ahead and return to some more. Banjo and Kazooie. No, no. Banjo Kazooie, Grunty's Revenge. Or Banjo Kazooie in Grunty's Revenge to actually say the whole proper title correctly. And yeah, um, I don't really know why I had so much trouble. I, I, I know why I had so much trouble finding it, but. I don't know why I had so much trouble finding it, because here it is! The thing that we need. So what we actually have to do, it has been way too long since I've done this proper. Okay, now oh, I know the name of the next area. Okay. There. I've got the walkthrough open to the right spot. Let's go do the thing. Which I assume will be putting a puzzle together, but then... Um, maybe it will just happen automatically when we hit a button. <laughs> Streamlining things for the Game Boy Advance. Kind of funny that we did manage to actually reach the next stage at the end of the last play session. And I was thinking, hmm, this is probably the next stage, and what do you know? It totally is. Can we reach up there? Uh, well, we can't do it with that, certainly. Okay, so no. Gotta walk up there instead of. Hello? Stomp yet? I don't have a stomp yet. Okay. And that would be a cliff. <laughs> Oops. Well, let's find out where this, um... Uh, up here. Perspective and depth perception. I, I, I wouldn't even say it's tricky or troublesome in this game. I would say it's non-existent in this game. You can't honestly tell anything anywhere. But trying to gauge how tall one thing is compared to another, how far distance of a jump is, it is not happening. Alright, so... Bad Magic Bayou. Flashing colors. Don't know why it's flashing colors. What's going on with that? <laughs> All right, so there is another move from the previous game. So, I think this one... I'd have to double check on the release date in 2003. Yeah, this was, um... This was released after Banjo-Tooie, so yeah. Banjo Tooie, and uh, yeah, was very bothersome to me at the time because the half of the moves that you learn in this game are moves you learned in the other two games already, and they handled it amazingly well in Banjo Tooie, where you know you just sort of 
Yeah, the intro area, uh, it says. You want to do the intro area tutorial? And you could say, no, I'm good, I, I, I know all this stuff already. And bam, you just have all the moves. There's no relearning, there's no re-education. You're just good to go. But they couldn't do that for this game, they just wanted to have half of the moves taught be old moves that they already knew. So they had to, um, or wouldn't have to come up with so many new moves again. And of course, there is the fact that it's on the Game Boy Advance, so they have significantly less buttons to work with, fewer button combinations. in life. to tell when you're at the right length there. There we go, there's another Jiggy. We're already at three for this area. No, oh, we're at two. Right, that was a move, no Jiggy. And of course, that's damaging. Why wouldn't it be? It's the, um, Bubble Gloop Swamp type area. Oh, that's an incline! I thought that was submerged. Again, depth perception. Not a thing! Mm. See, like, here it makes sense. You can tell that it's at an incline. <laughs> anything at all to do with it? Yeah, so, I'm going to have to, uh... We're gonna have to get out of it now. Back into it. <laughs> Without doing the wrong move and falling. Come on now. There. And of course I'm spoiled by uh Banjo Tui having five note bundle packs. Oh hey, there's a thing. Jinjos have a very bassy tone to their voices, much lower and deeper than they normally are. Come on, get out of that, thank you. Okay, so... Really, this is like... It's completely just combination of Mad Monster Mansion and Bubble Gloop Swamp. <laughs> Alright, so we have new eggs at least. That's nice. Uh, I was trying 
trying to think earlier of, um, I'm sure Banjo-Tooie has an area similar to Bubble Gloop Swamp in that, you know, the majority of the ground is dangerous to walk on, but as I was thinking through, that's almost every single area. It's just so, so ridiculous. But that's uh, Banjo Tooie in a nutshell. Definitely cannot really tell what is actually up there and what isn't, but let's go ahead. Quick like then. Ride this on around. There we go. Nifty. Alright, and we're back to, uh, well, potentially maximum on those. I don't know if that actually is maximum or not. It's, uh... Okay, yes, that is, in fact, maximum. And that's a really pitiful maximum number of those things. Okay, get back to that. Yeah, the hitbox on that is terrible. Probably leads to that outdoor jiggy, if you don't mind. Hmm, what do we have here? Wrong thing. Oh, a witch switch. Like Banjo to have these recurring battles with Plungo where he battles on at the outset of the fight. And it's just all very formulaic and annoying. Two damage. Unexpected. Huh. So this did not lead outside. That's uh, not quite what I was expecting. Maybe we can um, build drill that jiggy off the top of that. Also, 
why I have no idea how I missed that uh, Jinjo on the way up. And again, knowing this game... Ow. <laughs> it really is that easy. Thanks, game! Gotta love the freebies. And there's nothing else up top. Now then... This is fun. And Adobe Flash just crashed. Hmm, one moment while I check on the thing. 